So here's one of the latex extenders I use, and it's a product from M1, and it's a latex paint additive and extender. And what these things actually, or these additives actually do, is it, op it, it extends the open time of your paint. And what that means is it makes it so it dries actually slower. So we actually use it when we're doing exterior uh, repaints on houses. If it's really hot outside, we like to add this additive to the paint so it actually dries a little bit slower and gives us more working time. That's one of the key benefits to a latex extender. Another one of the benefits is it's a good flow leveling additive and what that actually does is when you're actually brushing paint on say an important project like a windowsill where you don't want to see what we call roping which is brush strokes you add a latex extender or a flow additive and it'll help those brush strokes actually level out and flow a lot better and not show up. So some of the times you can actually use a latex extender. You can use it when you're actually rolling paints too because it'll help when you're rolling it, it'll help uh, eliminate some of the stippling. So it'll help it actually flow out and level a lot better. And then when you're actually brushing. So we use it on uh, interior projects and in exterior projects when we want to extend the dry time. And extending the dry time just makes it so a lot of latex paints uh, dry extremely fast which causes them to rope or leave brush strokes or stippling a, a lot more prevalent and you want it to slow down say like an oil based paint dry really slow and level out and flow and that's exactly what a latex extender does so we're anytime we got something really important that we have to brush we'll use a latex extender so occasionally we will actually add latex extender to a latex paint that we're actually spraying if the paint is extremely thick and it's actually coming out and stippling a little bit bad and it'll give a little bit of um, extended dry time and flow time actually spraying. It's really rare that we actually use it when spraying but we use it uh, quite a bit when we're actually spraying with an HVLP sprayer. The HVLP sprayer typically always requires some type of thinning to get it to go through your cup gun and that sprayer and we always use on a latex extender and not a water. So there are times when you want to use it when you're spraying. If we're running it through an airless sprayer, we typically never thin our products or use latex extenders. So what these additives actually are, this late, latex um, M1 latex uh, extender or XI, XIM latex extenders, what these things are, they're typically propylene glycols and that's what you're actually adding to the paint which is a flow leveling additive that you just pour right in the paint and that's what this actual agent right here is just propylene glycol. So th this is a product, the M1 and the XIM we use, these are actually for latex paints. You can get flow additives like Penetrol for oil based products but typically oil based products dry extremely extremely slow and so they they flow out and level really well and you don't actually need any additives it's the water based paints the technology now they're dry and extremely fast and we use on our exterior repaints we use a product from sure whims called resilience or emerald and those paints literally dry in about 15 minutes and when you're brushing say a door jam around a, an exterior door and you're in the sun that paint is ex drying extremely extremely fast and coagulating on your brush and that's where latex extender uh, becomes really helpful and important so you'll add the latex extender in there it's going to slow down the dry time therefore it's actually going to flow and level so your um, your door jam exterior door jam won't show those brush strokes as well so there's two of them we use we use the M1 uh, we actually use this now I used to use XIM a lot but they don't carry it in the paint store that I purchased it from they carry the M1 product now but M1 and XIM are basically the same I did like the XIM a little bit better and it's very simple to use we actually just add a capful into about a quart of paint and you just add it in to get the consistency you want and the dry time you want and away you go and you're gonna have paint that flows a lot better and leaves less stippling and less brush strokes this is Chris the Idaho Painter hopefully this video will help you produce a lot better results with your painting uses brushes and rollers and not getting